So you want to make a tea that tastes like bubblegum? Well, I can't blame you. So I'll show you how to do that using just two green loose leaf teas. It's quick, it's easy, and it's gonna taste real good. Yeah, I don't think we should give away our tea recipe. Oh, come on, stop. Yeah, man. Just do it. So, to make this delicious tea, what you need is a milky ulu and a silver nil white tea. And that is it. All right, all right. <sighs> the main key making this tea taste anything like a bubble gum is proportions. What you want is a four grams of the milky oolong and just one gram of the silver needle white tea. Now, to weigh these teas, you might use a fancy scale that you have at home, but if you don't, don't worry. You can use this uh, coffee or slash tea spoon. You can get it anywhere. Most people have them at home. So. Usually, when you just fill it to the top, it's about five grams of ah, shark kind of popsicle. Damn it. Don't do what I did. You might just want to scoop it out from the bag and not spread it all over the floor and the table. Yeah, well, like I said, four grams of milky oolong, one gram of the silver needle to this 100 milliliter gaiwan. Now, if you want to do it in a teapot, you need a 400 milliliter teapot. And uh, if you brew it in a teapot, don't do it longer than two minutes. It's all about two minutes. But in this gaiwan, in this gaiwan, which I recommend. It will be better tasting, trust me. Uh, wait just 20 seconds. That is all. All you need is 20 seconds. Mm. Uh, that's a tasty bubblegum tea. And healthy too. No artificial flavors. It was quick. And it was easy. You might even say, "Bada bing, bada boom," and a tea smell fills your room. Hey, you promised me a chocolate cake. Come on, where is it? Give it. Sure, have it, have it. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a good chocolate cake. Mm. Oh wait, I know. Mm. This will go great with the chocolate cake. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Mm.